everyone. This is Kyle Randall Tanzik from Michigan Medieval, and it's a very rainy, snowy, dark day here in Detroit. So if the lighting or rain noises are a problem, I hope that's not too much of an issue. Um, I have about 14 years of HEMA experience and sport fencing experience. Um, so that means I've spent way too much money buying HEMA texts and sword fighting books. So um, my own biases that you'll have to contend with here in this video are that I like British sources. Um, and so this, take that into, with a grain of salt. Um, so today we're going to be reviewing the school of fencing with general explanation of the principal attributes and positions peculiar to that art by Domenico Angelo. This has been edited by Jared Kirby with notes by Maestro Jeanette Acosta Martinez. Um, this is a really good book. Um, this is one of my favorites. So um, let's look at the images and the actual overall look of the book. Hardcover, very bold, clear images, um, contrasting very nicely. The text is really big, so if you can read it from a distance, you set this on the ground, maybe you're trying to work out a play or something. Um, yeah, I think the overall look of this book is pretty cool. Um, also, I would say, if you're doing a living history demonstration or something, if you take this paper cover off, this could maybe pass as like a, like a reenactment prop or something. Um, I always complain about this, but like, it'd be cool if we get some more HEMA books that look like this, you know, with like weathered ancient looking paper and stuff. Look at my movie props. But again, it's an obscure textbook, not a movie prop. So cool. Good enough for me. Center up. All right. So, um, durability. The durability of this book is pretty decent. Um, I've had this for a while. The paper cover's getting ripped up. I don't carry it around maybe as much as some of my other textbooks, my Fiore Getty copy, um, but uh, it's pretty good. The, because of the unusual dimensions of this book, it's pretty wide. Um, maybe this is going to take some extra stress. I'm trying to think here. Yeah, like maybe this is going to take a little extra stress. When you go to flip the page, you might like rip it on accident because it's kind of unusual dimensions. Um, but it's, this is about as, I would say this is thick paper. It's about as durable as like a coffee table book from like your local Barnes and Noble or whatever. Um, so practicality. Um, big, large texts makes it easy to read from a distance. I like very bold, stark contrasting images against the back of the uh, white paper. Very practical. Um, there's a thing with the um, S's and F's <laughs> that you'll see in a minute. Um, the images line up with the, uh, plate description numbers really well. I've had another, I won't name any names, had a couple of books where like all the images are at the beginning, all the images in the middle, and all the text might be like 50 pages later, making you have to flip back and forth constantly from the text to the image. This is very good about lining them up really well. Um, important practical thing that this has as a learning tool is it has a table of contents. So you'd be surprised <laughs> sometimes these aren't there. Table of contents, very, very useful uh, to make this for learning if you're a student or whatever. So, um, translation. Normally this would be the part where I talk about the translation, but like, hey, it's already in English. Cool. The one exception being that thing with the S's and F's. Um, so if you look at like, um, <laughs> it says like, wrist, your wrist in second, but it says the S's, it looks like an F. <laughs> this is just like a symptom of like 18th century books in general. Um, in English at least. And so like, um, that's annoying <laughs> when you try to read it out loud to your class and you're like, you thrust with off's position. But hey, I mean like, it's true to the original form. Um, you just gotta get used to it. Um, moving on. Cost. Uh, this is a $29 book, hardcover. And for some reason right now, the soft cover is also $29. I wish that was a little cheaper. So I could tell my students, hey, buy this cheaper one. 144 pages, tons of illustrations, um, mostly small sort with a couple other tidbits of other little things in here. You'll see this guy's got a lantern behind his back, this guy's got a cloak, this guy's got a rape here, you know, you get some other, oh, this guy's got a small, small sort of dagger, you know, it's pretty cool. So you get a good amount of variety with your uh, purchase. Um, yeah, it's not going to be like trade paperback copy of The Hobbit <laughs> at the checkout line cheap. It's still like 29 bucks, so, but it's an obscure textbook. Overall closing thoughts. Um, this is a great book, really good one um, for anybody looking to learn small sword, um, for anybody who is a fan of John Townsend, 
Um, this is exactly in that time period. <laughs> so uh, if you're a sport fencer, this is a really good book for you because you'll be like, hey, I already know, I already mostly kind of sort of know a Hema art. Like, look, there's a little more history to the sport fencing I've been learning. If you're a long sorter, um, you're looking to do something new and different, or if you're a, you know, other kind of Hema practitioner, you're looking to do something new and different and fun, um, this is a good place to start if you want to learn a small sword. Um, this will tell you if you're a brand new beginner off the street, this tells you like how to choose a sword, how to stand, um, you know, the extreme basics. This is a good book for somebody just getting started. And if you are a more, you know, veteran advanced practitioner, um, this is good for you because it's very true to the original, pretty much just is the original, um, text, 18th century text. Um, and so you'll be satisfied with like how it's just true to form. It's true to the original book. Um, that's pretty much it. This is a really good book. I like it. Highly recommend it if you're interested in small sword. Um, thanks for listening. Never stop learning. Please train safely. Feel free to ask any questions you might further have in the comments below. Like, subscribe, and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, links are in the description. Hey, take care.